This is my paint station. In this video, I'm going to tell you about my hobby zone collection. I'm going to talk to you about designing my setup, my delivery experience, the build of the modular workshop system, and my thoughts on the product. In the interest of full disclosure, this is not a paid video and Hobby Zone sent me these products for review well before the creation of my YouTube channel. They actually sent me these products for review for my website must contain minis. So there will be a link in the description below for the reviews I wrote about this product in the past. I think this workstation is fantastic and I want to tell you about it today. My name is Jay and you're watching Must Contain Minis. I do reviews and showcases of miniatures and miniature related products. Check this out. This is my paint station. At least it was pre-pandemic. As you may know, right now I'm a painting nomad in my house due to the pandemic. I am had to lose my space to work from home. Once I find some more space in my house, I plan to set up a new version of this workstation again. Now let's go back to the start of this workstation. I started with an IKEA desk. This is a Malum specifically. I went with this one because I wanted something heavy enough that I would not move around when I brace my elbows on it to get close in on the miniatures while I paint. To store my paints, I used a paint rack by Six Squared Studios. If you want to read the review, there will be a link in the description below. In addition to that rack, I had a couple of boxes to hold paints and I also had this mini paint station by Zolk. There is also a link to that review in the description below. This setup worked well enough, but my wife and I want something special for my hobby area. We looked into a few companies to fill the surface of my new work desk. We decided on Hobby Zone. Why? Personally, I liked the functionality of the modular workshop system and I wanted to try it. Mrs. Must Contain Minis liked the aesthetics. She wanted my workstation to look sharp and this product certainly fits that bill. So I went to the drawing board to plan out the station. First I designed it to go along the back of the desk in three layers high. I then designed a variant that was just two levels high but wrapped it around the desk. I consulted with Mrs. Must Contain Minis to get her opinion on the design. She really liked the wraparound one, especially since the desk has a cabinet that makes one side less useful for just sitting at. I reached out to Hobby Zone and they were very happy to send me the product for review purposes. They sent it with their premium shipping option and I was so impressed from Poland to Canada in just three days. Absolutely amazing. All of these products came flat packed in nice looking packages. Everything came well protected. The pieces are all cut and ready to go right out of the box. All you have to do is glue them together. I used wood glue with a paintbrush to control exactly where the glue goes. Once finished, you have a module full of appealing looking drawers. I put together a paint module to go above those drawers. The iPad holder is a module that Mrs. Must Contain Mini suggested to me. I was going to ask for another paint rack. This thing is very convenient. It holds my iPad firmly above my painting area so that I can watch YouTube videos while I build and paint miniatures. As with all the modules, this product shipped with printed directions for assembly. You don't need to use the elastics that I use to put it together, that's just something I do. The Hobby Zone instructions recommend that you use painter's tape while you wait for the glue to dry. The iPad holder is a little more involved to put together than some of the other modules. While putting the modules together, you use a hammer to install the magnets. This whole station holds together with the other modules by use of magnets. That iPad holder works great. Okay, correction here, it's not actually an iPad holder, it is a media module. It holds other tablets and phones too, it doesn't need to be an iPad. You can adjust the thickness when you build it, or with some effort after the fact. You can adjust the width as you go. Now let's take a quick look at one of the drawer modules. This unit went together really easily. I used a box clamp to put it together, but you don't need that. Hobby Zone suggests that you use painter's tape. I just had these tools sitting around so I decided to use them. 
The drawers are likewise simple to build. All the parts are in good order and there is no trimming to worry about. All you need is glue and something to hold the parts together while the glue dries. The drawers come with dividers and you can put them in there if you want. For on top of the drawer unit, I have a paint shelf. You can get these sized for dropper bottles like Vallejo, pots like GW, and Hobby Zone also covers another size that I don't really collect. All of the drawers come with a clear acrylic window that lets you see what's in there. And the drawers look really good when they're finished. I then built up the corner unit. I really like this one. Again, I made use of my box clamp, but you don't need this to build the product. And now I'm getting to the corner paint rack. This rack is awesome. It holds 48 dropper bottles. Just look at how well this station is coming together. And here we have my finished workstation. A common place to work for sure. For lights, I have one desk lamp and a floor stand that has a second desk lamp arm on it. All have 100 watt daylight bulbs in them. Here's the table from a slightly different angle. On the right, that unit that I have not talked about is actually a work in progress holder. It has an acrylic cover to prevent dust from getting on the miniatures that you have been painting between sessions. While building this hobby zone modular workshop system, I use Gorilla brand wood glue. You can use whatever you want, but I find it works well for my needs. And here we have a final look at my workstation. With the modularity of each unit, you can redesign and restack these units on the fly. The units go together very easily and look great on the table. They're held together by magnets. If you want a workstation that looks fantastic, this is the workstation to go with. This system looks beautiful and I have not seen anything that looks prettier on a hobby desk yet. As I mentioned earlier, I am unfortunately not currently using this setup. I will be again in the future, but for now I'm a painting nomad in my own house. I can't wait to get this beautiful system back out and into a dedicated painting space. Mrs. Muskinsy Minis also really likes the look of this product and sometimes she even thinks that it would work well with her craft supplies. I think she's right. That said, I'm really happy that this is something that we can both enjoy. Thanks again for joining me in this look at my Hobby Zone collection. If you are interested in the product or want to read stories about it, there will be links about that in the description below. If you liked this video, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel to encourage me to continue to create content. Until next time, happy gaming everyone!